Today, we crown a champion. Today, we crown a national champion. Today is the gold medal matchup for the CCSA Softball National Championship here on We Did It All between the hometown St. Cor Saints and the Western Mustangs. My name's Justin Prince from the Premier Construction Group Press Box as we get ready to see how these two undefeated teams in this tourney and in this calendar year battle it out to determine who's the best in the country for 2022. Let's start off by looking at St. Clair's lineup. Shaylen Murphy will lead things off, a part of the visiting squad for St. Clair. Sierra Boltzer at center. Amy Clayton, the designated player, followed by Brianna Kressler, the pitcher. Jacqueline Uchin, Judy LaFleur, Emily Erskine, Tiana LaShantz, and Alexis DiCarlo round out the lineup. Today's flex for St. Clair, Raya Cowan. Meanwhile, the Western Mustangs warming up for this respective matchup. Line up like this. Up on the rubber for this respective matchup will be Amy LaDuc. The Duke's been depended upon as their starter most of this tourney. They'll be working with the catcher in Hamilton. Also, Greco Miranda Hilpert rounding out the infield. The outfielders will be Wino along with Iser Bender along with Mahan. The student section in full force here at the St. Clair Sports Park in Windsor, Ontario. The gold medal matchup, almost set to go. Shaylin Murphy will lead things off for this year's national championship. We're all set to go and underway from Windsor. Starting off with a delayed strike one call. The Duke, the second pitch to center field. Tracked down for the flyout for the first out of the inning. We know able to track it down for the first out of the inning quickly. That brings up Baltzer. Baltzer, the center fielder. Watches that one for a strike. Strike one. Baltzer, three for four yesterday in the semifinals against Durham. Down the line and deep. Mahan tracks it to foul territory as that bounces to the parking lot. 0-2. Oh the Duke started in yesterday's semifinal against UBCO. In seven innings of work, six hits, four runs, four earned, two walks, seven strikeouts, 109 pitches. Outside on the throwaway pitch, one and two. One and two for Baltzer. Baltzer swings through the off-speed pitch for the second out of the inning. Up to the plate now. Last year's OCA Player of the Year, Amy Clayton. Clayton yesterday, three on-base appearances, two via hit. Clayton swings to the Osby pitch to start 0-1. The Duke sets up, 0-1. Osby down the line, bounces in for a base hit. Clayton is aboard with two outs in the top of the first inning. And just out of the reach of a diving Greco. That brings up Brianna Kressler. And a Kressler, the pitcher for St. Clair today. It's this one to left field for a base hit. Back-to-back -back singles for St. Clair. Runners at first and second now with two away. Yeah. 
Well, again, squeaking by Greco. And that brings up Jacqueline Yuchin. Yuchin, an RBI single yesterday. It's part of a one for three performance. Starts off 1 0 with the rice ball. The 1 0. Rice ball misses again, 2 0. Hitters count now for Yuchin. Infield flared out by the Mustangs. The 2 0. Make it 3 0. Judy LaFleur on deck for St. Clair. The 3 0. Off speed this time bounces back with a strike. 3 and 1. Three and one reaches at one around her head. Three and two. A full count now to work with. The payoff pitch from LaDuke. Off speed misses and the bases are loaded on the walk for Judy LaFleur. Outfield shuffled a touch to the left despite the winds going to right field today. As the floor looks for a chance to braid in some runs early. Down the middle to start, 0 and 1. Floor yesterday, 1 for 3 as well. Upstairs, 1 and 1. Duke sets one and one. This time making contact for the foul to the screen, one and two. The one and two. Swain's right through it. Now they say foul ball on the late call, one and two. One and two again. This time, out to second. Dragged down by Hilpert, and the side is retired. Two hits, no runs, no errors. No score after the top of the first inning. Happy Thanksgiving. The gold medal game continues after this. Big breath for every little breath. And for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Welcome back to winter as we enter the bottom of the first inning between St. Clair and Western. Let's take a look at how Western will line up here. Madison Mahon starting with Blythe Hilpert, Abby Bush. Then you have Ashley Wido. Then Lee Miranda, Lauren Greco. Then Heiser Bender, Hamilton Wildman. Rounding out the batting order today, the flex is the pitcher, LaDuke. Touched upon in the top of the first inning. This is the look at the defensive lineup for St. Clair. LaShawn Spotzer and LaFleur in the outfield. Then it's Catlin, Murphy, DiCarlo, Uchin, and Erskine in the infield. Kressler on the rubber to begin this matchup. 
And speaking of Kressler, Kressler keep in mind, five innings of work yesterday as a starter in the pool game against UBCO. Two hits allowed, no runs, no earned. No walks and seven strikeouts, 61 pitches. A big difference in terms of pitch load seen in the previous matchup for Kressler compared to Leduc. Today's sponsors, Bob Ream Sports, Martindale Windows and Doors Incorporated, Premier Construction Group, and Monson Time Express. Can I thank them for their support of today's coverage here from Windsor. Just about set for the bottom of the first inning. On leads things off in this inning, the left fielder. From Reboro, Ontario, starting things off down to the turf, 1-0. Yesterday, a one-for-four performance in the semifinal against UBCO. Struck out once. 1-0 down towards the turf, 2-0. 2-0 for the first batter of this inning, Mahon. Kressler taking her time, the 2-0. Misses the bottom corner, 3-0. Blythe Hilpert on deck. Three oh this time, fouls it away, three and one. Three and one, swings over top of it, three and two. Full count, three and two. Swings on top of it again for the strikeout. Mahon sat down on strikes. That brings up Hilpert, the second baseman. Helpert, one of the players to put a star next to. In discussions prior to today, three hits, four bats yesterday, three RBIs in the semis. Up top to start, 1-0. 1-0 to left field for a base hit. Bouncing off of LaChance. Hilpert is aboard with one out in the bottom of the first inning. Strong contact from Hilpert. Keep an eye on the kinesiology major throughout this one. Abby Bush, this time in the three hole for this game. Three at bats, one hit yesterday. That one hit to the screen, 0 oh 1 to start. Bush is a nursing student, originally from the province of Nova Scotia. The 0 and 1, too low, 1 and 1, throw back to first, offline. Seen in the backdrop, capacity crowd yet again here at the sports park. That one called for strike two. Look over at the head coach for this program for the Western Mustangs. That's Pete Lemon in his 21st year at the helm. The one and two swing and a miss for the second strikeout of the inning. That brings up Weedo. 
Anthony Lido from Mitchell, Ontario. Yesterday went two for four with a run scored. Starts off missing the bottom corner. Her favorite spot to aim for, 1-0. Two outs, bottom of the first inning. No score here in Windsor. That time swings through that for a strike one and one. The one and one. Swings through it again, throw back to first, called safe. One and two is the count. The one and two. Got it. The corner. Three strikeouts and four batters to start things off. As we head to the top of the second, no score from Windsor. Every child should learn how to swim for health, for safety, and for fun. That's why we've started Canada's Swim Team. Learn to swim at least 25 meters on your own, and you're on the team. Canada's Swim Team. It's that easy. Help make us the world's largest swim team by adding your name at GetSwimming.ca. Ask your parents first. Swimming, the only sport that can save your life. Welcome everyone once again to Windsor for the top of the second inning of the CCSA Softball National Championship. A look at the weather conditions as we enter the top of the second. 13 degrees with a few clouds up in the sky. 51 degrees, 51% the minute, rather. 33 mile, kilometers per hour the wind to the west today. That is towards the outfield to the parking lot and center. Emily Erskine leads things off, watching off-speed pitch missing. 1-0 to begin. The 1-0 swings through it. 1-1. One and one. Durham yesterday. One hit in four at-bats. Working quick, Erskine to left field. On tracks it in the sun with a quick fly out, out number one. Tell with the angle off the bat, that was a bit underneath. That brings up LaChance. The shot starts by swinging through it. 0 oh, and 1. The shots came in as a pinch player yesterday during the semifinals. Brusso got that start. The shots tries to go at one on a bunt, misses it. 0 oh, and 2. Shots known for a tendency to swing at high pitches. The 0 2. Misses the top corner. 1 and 2. Alexis DiCarlo on deck. The 1 and 2. Two inside and two low, two and two. Look over at coach Doug Wiseman. The last time his team picked up a national title was in the mid-2010s. Back in 2015. Two and two. LaShawn's in for a base hit. A sizzler pass Greco. 
And with one out of the inning, a runner is aboard for St. Clair. Just past the glove of Greco. As that brings up a player who had to sub out of yesterday's matchup, Alexis DiCarlo. Carlo during one of the throw rounds after a strikeout was hit in the nose with the ball. Starts off with the ball. 1 0. Was a late game decision between her and Madison Barber to play in the second base position today. 1 0. Fouled away. 1 and 1. Runner at first, one out, top of the second inning. The sign coming in, one and one. Going for the bunt. The shots moves to second. A fielder's choice on the play, but it does the job. The shots now in scoring position, two away. Good reaction from the Mustangs, one of the top teams and their respective conference in Ontario University softball. To the top of the lineup card goes St. Clair. Up to the bats, Shale and Murphy. Off speed in the turf to start, 1-0. Last time up for Murphy, a fly out to center. One and zero. Murphy gets underneath it. Dragged down by Bush, and the side is retired. No runs, one hit, no errors. We head to the bottom of the second inning here for this Thanksgiving weekend classic. Did you know that the most severe injuries in our region are motor vehicle crashes? 65% of road fatalities last year were directly the result of distracted driving. 90% of injuries arriving in our emergency rooms are preventable. Our message to you this summer is put down the phone. Just drive. Let's work together to keep our trauma stretchers empty. Where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just... Tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Welcome back to Windsor. As we get ready for the bottom of the second inning, a packed crowd, to say the least. All the way out at the hillsides. Miranda Greco, then is a bender. Do up to start off this inning. Miranda begins things by swinging through that one, 0 and 1. And Miranda yesterday, 0 for 3. Left three runners on base. The 0 and 1 back to the screen, 0 and 2 on the foul tip. Randa. Wait for the 0 and 2. Called strike three. Three straight strikeouts now by Kressler. That brings up Greco. Lauren Greco, a health sciences major from Burlington, Ontario. Starts by swinging through that one, 0-1. Oh Greco in the three hole yesterday went 0 for 4 and two strikeouts. Maybe have gotten a piece of it. Either way, strike two. Classic. 
The 0-2. Down the left field line. LaShawn's on the run, gets it in the corner. Two outs in the inning. And that got the crowd roaring a bit. LaShawn with a little leap to be able to make the play. That brings up Izzard Bender. Starts off by watching that one for a ball, 1-0. She goes to Kings College, as part of the Western Mustangs group, Plattsville, Ontario. Up high, swinging through it, 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. Trying to go low, missing low. Two and one. Spender yesterday. Two for one. Or one for two. In the semifinal. Gets the corner. Two and two. Spender also picked up an RBI as part of the UBCU loss. And the Western victory. The two and two. Popped up. Murphy calls for it and gets it. And the sign is retired. A 1-2-3 inning. Sends us to the third inning of play. You're watching We Did It Over coverage of the CCSA Softball National Championship. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir. And creme brulee, cremy. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? Look back over at the fans once again in the outfield. A scoreless game so far here at St. Cora College. And Sierra Balzer gets ready up at the plate here. Balzer, Clayton, Kressler do up in this top of the third inning. Starts off by a lasering one. Out to left and it drops. Mahan lost it in the sun. And Baltzer gets credited with the double to lead off the third. The sun currently is blistering towards that direction, mind you. So just like that, Baltzer is aboard and Amy Clayton is to the plate. Clayton, last time up a single. Off speed in the turf to start, 1-0. The Duke deals, the 1-0. Clayton swings through a prime pitch, 1-1. One 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 the count. Runner at second. One and one. Clayton up the middle. Bates it. Baltzer gets the wave home. Baltzer makes the slide home. St. Clair's on the board. They lead one to nothing in the national championship. The second single for Clayton in this game. Gets it done past Ledoux. That brings up Kressler. Kressler a single, last time up. Starts off, off speed in for strike one. Clay 
in at first after the RBI single. No outs in the top of the third. Upstairs, too high, one and one. Coyden keeping at bay at the base. That one missing the corner, two and one. Two one signal given by the umpire. A deep shift by the outfielders as this one is bowed away for the second strike, two and two. Coach Weitzman giving the signs. Will the green light be given for Kressler here? Two and two. Too high. Three and two. The Duke steps up for the action pitch. For the payoff. Off of LaDuke's glove. Bounced over to Hilpert. The force out taken at second for the fielder's choice. The first out of the inning. That one gets essentially pushed over to Hilbert. As that brings Yuchin up. Yuchin walked last time up. That one down low, but called a strike. Oh, and one. Yo and one. Off speed misses. One and one. The one and one. Trying to go inside, gets the strike. One and two. One and two the count. Runner at first, one out, top of the third. St. Clair up one to nothing. This time missing, throw back over to first, called safe, two and two is the count. The two and two. This time fouled away, keeps the count alive, stays two and two. Yuchin battling. The battle heads to 2-2 again. Strike three called. Yuchin strikes out. The second strikeout by LaDuke. The two outs, that brings up Judy LaFleur. Four popped up last time. That ended off the first inning. Starts by swinging and fouling that one away, 0-1. Oh okay, the 0-1. Oh Laser took past the third baseman to left field. Runners at first and second now with two away. And again, under the glove of Greco. That brings up Emily Erskine. Erskine flew out last time. Starts off with a strike, going one. The 0 
and one outside, missing the plate. One and one. She also fakes the throw back to second. And now a discussion called up on the rubber. Duke looking to recalibrate. Six hits so far by St. Clair here in the top of the third inning with how things have played out. The student section ever more present on their feet. The Duke has thrown more than 50 pitches so far in this game. After the regroup, it's one and one, make it one and two. One and two. Erskine down the line, but foul. Erskine trying to keep this count rolling, calls time. Catcher taking a chance to regroup. One and two. Erskine to left field. Mahan tracks it down and it goes over her head. One run scores as second comes in. It's an RBI double for Emily Erskine. That one going all the way to the warning track. Mahan pulls back the glove right before the catch on the drop. Three runs scored now in the inning. That brings up Deanna LaChance. First pitch, LaChance over to short. Played by Bush. Throw to Miranda, gets the out in the side as we're tired but not before striking some damage. Three runs scored in the inning. Sanquor leads three to nothing to the bottom of the third. No, no, I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit, but it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. Welcome back to Windsor, Ontario. Former coverage, CCSA Softball National Championship. Today's broadcast brought to you by Bob Riem Sports, by Martindale Windows and Doors Incorporated, by Premier Construction Group, and by Mont's On Time Express Incorporated. I'd like to thank them for their support of this action. Entering the bottom of the third, the 8, 9, and 1 hitters do up. Hamilton, Wildman, and Mahan, respectively. And so far, just one hit for the Western Mustangs. Offense compared to St. Clair's seven. Kressler so far, just 27 pitches, but four strikeouts. Three of them were consecutive between the first and second innings. Hamilton now comes up to the plate looking to get the first base runner on board since the first. Starts off with the strike, 0 and 1. Hamilton, 2 for 3 yesterday with a run scored against UBCO. Down around the knees, missing 1 and 1. Keep in mind, 
this Western program, plenty of history, five national titles. Swain underneath that one for the second strike, one and two. One and two, make it another strikeout. How about five on the game for Kressler? That's six straight retired by Kressler. And that brings up the nine hole hitter, Wildman. Ashley Wildman, one for two yesterday with a run scored and a walk. Starts off with a ball, one and oh. She's from Vaughan, Ontario, in her third year of eligibility. A sciences major. One and oh, reaches it one up high, one and one. One and one, just above the letters, two and one. Two and one, chopped over to Murphy. Throw to Eugen at first for the second out. Quick bounce over to Murphy, and out by about two strides. That brings up Mahon. The left fielder struck out last time up. He's had some struggles in the outfield today. Starts in the turf, 1-0. The energy electric for the 1-0. To center field, a rocket over Bolzer's head for a ground rule double. And that dog finds itself a new toy. But Western gets a base runner aboard with two out. That one to the warning track as well, just about. But as you've seen in the backdrop, that dog out there has a softball to play with. Hilpert has a base runner to work with. First pitch in for strike one. Hilpert last time got the only other hit for Western so far. A single back in the first inning. The 0-1. Down the left field line, but foul just out of the reach of LaChance and Murphy. 0 oh, 2 the count. Runner at second, two outs. Bottom of the third inning. Cressler deals the 0 oh, 2. Strike three, another strikeout. Pressler with six on the game. She breaks out of the jam with a shutout working after three. Three nothing. Heading to the top of the fourth inning. Mont's On Time Express has all of your delivery needs covered with a fleet of 50 vehicles, including cargo and sprinter vans, along with 24 foot straight trucks. It doesn't matter if the freight is big or small. Mont's On Time Express can guarantee safe and prompt delivery service throughout Canada and the United States. Licensed to broker freight throughout North America, Mont's On Time Express features same day delivery service, along with a state of the art dispatching system and live GPS tracking assistance. Mont's is fully insured and Canadian bonded and has certifications with FAST, CTAT, PIP, and SmartWay. Mont's On Time Express is open 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. To get your delivery moving, contact Mont's On Time Express at www.montsontime.ca or call toll free at 877. Look over to the University of Calgary Dinos who are watching along. 
They look to see who wins the gold medal here in Windsor. Alexis DiCarlo leads things off this inning. Followed by Shailen Murphy, Sierra Baltzer. Carlo starts by popping one up. Out to Bush at short for the first out. She's 0 for 2. That brings up Shailen Murphy. Despite showing the first year of eligibility, remember, was a big part of the offense. So in bases last season, Murphy rockets one to left for an out. So a very quick fourth inning working so far. Two outs in the top of the four. Tracked down by Mahon as that brings up Baltzer. Baltzer one for two with a double last time. Starts off swinging at the Ospie pitch. 0-1. Oh 0-1 the count. The 0 and 1 this time missing on the rice ball. 1 and 1. Up 1 and 1. Too low. 2 and 1. On the throw by LaDuke. St. Clair. A lengthy streak of medals, keep in mind. Going into this turning, last year's silver medalist in the OCAA. The two and one off speed. Called strike two. Two and two. Lofts it up and pops it up. Bush. Let's it picked up by Greco, and the side is retired. To the bottom of the fourth we go. You're watching We to Dole from Windsor. big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions, because clean air matters to us all. More people continue to find their way on that hillside with every passing pitch. Families have been sprinting to find spots on the hillsides as we enter the bottom of the fourth inning. Justin Prince from the Premier Construction Group Press Box here on We Did It All for the gold medal game for this year's CCSA Softball National Championship. Abby Bush leads things off. She started off this game with a strikeout back of the first. She starts off this bottom inning with a quick play made by Cressler to Yuchin for the out. That time bouncing quick, working quick. And that will bring up Weedo. Weedo struck out last time up at the plate. That time thought about going around an appeal over to first, called safe. 1 0. Oh. 1 0, oh, swings through it for the first strike, 1 and 1.
One and one. Didn't get a good footing on that one, two and one. Talked about the Western Mustangs, five times national champions. They had at one point an 11 consecutive Ontario title streak. That one called for the strike, two and two. Thirteen Ontario championships, seven national appearances since 2011. Prior to this year's, that one's fouled away, two and two. Mustangs players watching along. The two and two. Strike three, a seventh strikeout for Kressler. And St. Clair's response, all smiles. Two outs now in the bottom of the fourth inning as Miranda comes up to the plate. Miranda also struck out last time up. First pitch, way outside, 1-0. One and O, oh, this time in for strike one. One and one popped up, up to the Premier Construction Group press box and over it for the one and two. Looking to get out of the fourth inning. This time the inning continues though with a single. Miranda smacks it up to center field to Baltzer and extends the frame. Right back up the middle there over the head of Kressler. The third Mustangs hit of the game. That brings up Lauren Greco. Greco flew out last time. Starts with swinging underneath a high pitch, 0-1. Oh Signal coming through for the 0-1, oh swings through it for 0-2. Oh Working quickly here. Did she get the strike? No, one and two. Cressward getting the sign. The one and two. Hits the top of the backstop screen. and stays one and two. Runner at first, two outs, bottom of the fourth inning. Sancor leads by three. One and two. Foul back again. And the one two will have a third take to it. Still one and two. Kressler stamps up to the rubber. Chopped over to Cowan. Throw to Yuchin, and the side is retired. After four innings, Sancor continues to lead. It's three to nothing from Sancor College. Every child should learn how to swim for health, for safety, and for fun. That's why we've started Canada's Swim Team. Learn to swim at least 25 meters on your own, and you're on the team. 
Canada's swim team. It's that easy. Help make us the world's largest swim team by adding your name at getswimming.ca. Ask your parents first. Swimming, the only sport that can save your life. Look at the grandstands as we enter the top of the fifth inning. Things cruising here for this national championship on We Did It All. Justin Prince from the Premier Construction Group Press Box. As Amy Clayton gets ready to lead things off for this inning. Brianna Kressler, Jacqueline Yuchin do up as well in this inning. Duke starts things off into the turf, 1-0. The Duke continuing to maintain a busy day. 64 pitches, now up to 66, with that second of the count, 2-0. Hitters count now for Clayton. The 2-0, chops it foul for the 2-1. Clayton, keep in mind, two for two entering this at bat. You'll see AA's leading hitter in batting average above 600. The 2-1, off speed, missing that time. The umpire nods his head in agreement on his call. Three and one. The three and one. Misses and Clayton is aboard with a walk to lead things off in the fifth. That brings up the opposing pitcher, Brianna Kressler. Kressler, one for two so far. Upstairs, missing to start, 1-0. Oh. 1-0, this time bounces back to 1-1. One one. The strike called. One and one for Leduc to left center field, to the fence, to the wall, it's gone. A two run home run for Brianna Kressler. Her second home run of this tournament. And St. Clair balloons the lead, it's five to nothing. And the second it got hit, you knew it had a shot. That bounces its way to the parking lot and brings up Jacqueline Yuchin with a five run advantage. Starts off below the knees inside, one and oh. The one and zero Chin down the left field line to Mahan, able to track it down for the first down of the inning. That had to scramble for a moment, but Judy Lafleur comes up and looks to try and improve upon the one for two today. First pitch, bunting, and it bounces around foul. 0-1. Oh, Fuller, second year from Essex. 
Going one, this time down the left field line to foul territory. Drops foul. No balls, two strikes. Sankor leading by five after a two-run home run moments ago from Brianna Kressler. Her second home run of this tournament. The 0-2. Too high. Just missed the top corner, one and two. The Duke on the one, two. Chopped foul yet again. One and two still. Some movement in the bullpen currently for the Western Mustangs. So this lead starting to balloon this inning. Upstairs for strike three. That's the third strikeout for LeDuc in this game. So that brings up Emily Erskine. Erskine moves into the box one for two with a double last time up. That one bouncing a little bit early to start 1-0. and -0. 80 pitches now for LeDuc. Down the left field line. But hooking foul. That one given a ride for a 1-1 count. The 1-1. One one. A pie again, 2-1. Now the umpire saying two and two. Missing that time for the ball. Three and two. Erskine to the shortstop for the catch. Side is retired. Five nothing after a two run home run. More coverage after this. Did you know that the most severe injuries in our region are motor vehicle crashes? 65% of road fatalities last year were directly the result of distracted driving. 90% of injuries arriving in our emergency rooms are preventable. Our message to you this summer is put down the phone. Just drive. Let's work together to keep our trauma stretchers empty. Where are you headed? Uh, just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A look over at the scoreboard. St. Croix leading 5 to nothing over the Western Mustangs here in this national championship matchup. Today's broadcast brought to you by Bob Williams Sports, by Martindale Windows and Doors Incorporated, by Vermeer Construction Group Incorporated, and by Mons on Time Express Incorporated. I thank them for their support throughout these festivities. Getting ready for the bottom of the inning. The seven, eight, and nine hitters do. That's Izzard Bender, Hamilton, Wildman. As Kressler continues, a seven strikeout performance so far. Starting with a bunt and a quick tag out to begin the inning.
Too strong on the bunt. Good reaction from Yuchin. And despite her best efforts, Yuchin still able to get the tag. That brings up Hamilton, who struck out last time. First pitch. Swains through another one, 0 oh and 1. Gressler continuing to add first pitch strikeouts to her tally. Majority of them have been first pitch strikes today. The 0 oh and 1. Driven down the left field line, foul. As that one will visit some cars and become one with the cars. 0 oh and 2. The 0 and 2 to the screen for a foul. Count remains 0 and 2 for Hamilton. Bottom of the fifth inning, one out. St. Cor leading by five. That one, two inside, one and two. One and two. Reaches at it like a hacksaw. Stays one and two. Hamilton, also with experience at third base, continuing to battle it out here. And another foul. This is a way to balloon the pitch count. One, two, still. The one and two again, swing and a miss. And Kressler adds an eighth strikeout to the tally. She thought it may have hit the turf, but it still is called a strikeout regardless. That brings up Wildman. Wildman 0 for 1 today. Goes to the backstop to start 1 and 0. Kressler's 1-0, tries to hit the corner and does, 1-1. One, one. The 1-1, one one, bowed away, 1-2. and two. Looking to end the fifth inning here. Swing and miss for strike three. Kressler with nine strikeouts now in fifth innings. We head to the top of the sixth after this. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh. Well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir and creme brulee cremey. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? The fans continue to multiply. It's gotten to where they are now attending from Acumen Stadium's upper deck. 
That's how many people are attending this softball matchup here for the top of the sixth inning. LaShance to Carlo and Murphy do up this inning. LaShance to left field. And the play made by Mahan for the first out. Able to get the trek down that time. Up to the plate, Alexis DiCarlo. DiCarlo to the sky. This time a long run drops. We do not able to get to it. But a recovery by the second baseman and shortstop make it just a single for DiCarlo. The outfield has been shuffled deep for much of this game, nearly to the warning track. That time it cost them. That brings up Shailen Murphy. Murphy watches one up above the letters for a strike going one. The 0 1 Murphy to left center field, giving a ride for a drop. It bounces off a spectator for a ground rule double. So a fan got a ball to the face, and Murphy gets aboard with a double right there as it plunks off the fan's face. Two runners aboard, and will this be a change now for Western? Conference now up on the rubber. As the assistant coaches looking to discuss things, all while the heart of the lineup is due up. Baltzer and Clayton, the next two batters for St. Clair. Keep in mind, St. Clair, two more runs could potentially trigger a mercy rule in the gold medal game. Remember, the rule is seven runs after five in CCSA play. Starting in the turf this time is Baltzers at bat. Strike up on the board, though, 0-1. Oh and one, Baltzer over the head of Krakow. One run scores, a second is waved home. And up to second goes Baltzer. A single and a run advanced on the throw. And St. Clair leads seven to nothing. And the offense starting to spiral forward. That brings up Amy Clayton. Clayton watches one very slow, but for a strike going one. Clayton, two for two with a walk today. St. Clair, minutes away from a national title. Clayton gets underneath it. Down to center. Did it pop out? They roll out. So the out is called. Weedo, though, with a bit of a break. Look at how this comes out of the glove right there. One more inch out of the glove, and it may have been another hit. Instead, two outs for Kressler. Kressler to the gap in right center. Down for extra bases. 
One run scores. Kressler zips through for a stand up triple. Kressler a double away from the cycle. And the crowd goes wild. First pitch swinging, first pitch crushing. That brings up Jacqueline Uchin. This one, fouled a bit underneath it. Oh and one. The Duke still working forward, the 0 and one. Fouled away again, 0 and two. The Duke coming up to 100 pitches, looking at a combined 210 possibly by the end of this inning over the past 12 to 24 hours. 0 and 2 misses, 1 and 2. One and two, gets a piece of it down the line, but foul. The count will continue here, one and two. One and two to left center, in for a base hit, and another run scores. And the route is on, it's nine to nothing. Yu Chin with her first hit of the game. And now a combined sixth run scored in the past two innings alone now. Pinch runner called in, Ashley Ray Brill. Judy LaFleur coming up to the plate. LaFleur one for three today with a single back in the third. Starts off for a strike, 0 and 1. The 0 and 1. That one to the backstop, but swinging through it for regardless, 0 and 2. Fans wanting this inning to continue at the sports park. Four runs this season. It will continue for now with a 1-2. A 1-2 looking for the upper top corner missing. 2-2. Two and two. For LaFleur. The Duke, the 2 2. Up to the Duke. And the sign is retired on the 1 3. So we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. St. Clair getting ready to celebrate a gold medal. Here in the CCSA Softball National Championship. No. No. I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally. But it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally. But it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at DrugFreeKidsCanada.org.
Welcome back, everyone, to Windsor as St. Clair is three outs away from their first gold medal in the national championship since 2015. Justin Prince for the Premier Construction Group press box as Western will have their one, two, and three hitters do up to try and avoid the mercy trigger and try and find a way to respond back. A champ battle is starting to form as Mahad comes up to lead off this bottom six. Starting off for the strike inside, 0-1. The 0 and 1 gets it and fouls it off of the player nearly to the on deck circle. 0 and 2. Helper nearly getting hit in the on deck circle. Kressler, meanwhile, stepping up for the 0 and 2. Fouled away. Ressler has had a masterpiece of a national title. Nine strikeouts, no earned runs, no walks. More than 70 pitches so far. The 0 and 2. Down the line, foul yet again. A look over at Pete Lemon. He joined the faculty back in the 2000s. 20 years of experience was an initial and critical part of the forming of this program for the Mustangs back in 2002. He watches as Cowan throws it to Yuchin for the first out. So a 5-3 ground down gets the first out of the inning. St. Clair two outs away from a gold. Hilpert up to the plate. One for two today. Hilpert into foul territory. Tracked down by Murphy. St. Clair is one out away from the title. Murphy coming all the way over to foul ground for that one. And the last gasp is Bush. 0 for 2. Swains through the first one, 0 and 1. The 0 and 1. Down the right field line. And that is it. For the first time since 2015, St. Clair are your national champions. St. Clair wins the 2022 gold medal for the CCSA Softball National Championship. Nine nothing the final and this one. Kressler a double away from the cycle in the winning effort. Also striking out nine. The celebration is on for St. Clair picking up the gold medal for 2022 after coming so close at this field just a year ago in the OCAA title. The celebration is on for Coach Weisman, his first national title since the 2015 year with a stellar offensive performance.
We'd like to thank you for tuning in for this coverage throughout this weekend here on We Did It All. So happy to have you with us throughout this weekend for this year's CCSA Softball National Championship. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Bob William Sports, Martindale Windows and Door Incorporated, Premier Construction Group Incorporated, and Monson Time Express Incorporated for their support of this broadcast coverage and this event for 2022. But with that, it's time to say goodbye. St. Clair picks up gold for 2022. The Western Mustangs win the silver. UBC Okanagan picks up the bronze for this year's championship.